All right, well, it's a pretty impressive uh, picture, but those dogs were terrorizing Secret Service agents. Bit a whole bunch, caused all kinds of trouble and all kinds of drama behind the scenes. Take a look at this. These are just some of the documents relating to, no kidding, the dog's misbehavior at the White House. Tom Fitton has discovered uh, all kinds of secrets and documents that the government did not want us to see. Uh, but his great group, Judicial Watch, actually is pursuing this as well, getting to the bottom of what the heck happened and why did they, how did they handle it, why did they handle it. Tom, welcome back. How are you and Thanks. why this? Why is this important? I, I'm curious, but why did you guys choose this? Well, because the Secret Service agents who and White House staff there who are putting their lives on the line for the president and the staff at the White House is being attacked. They're, they're being attacked first by Major. The White House lied about it, tried to pretend it wasn't an issue. They ended up having to remove Major because he was attacking the Secret Service. We got the documents showing the White House was lying about it, withholding information. And then he got this new dog, Major, excuse me, Commander, you know, and we got a, we got a tip. He was, he's out of control too. And we asked the Secret Service because we knew there was something up. Uh, do you have records about dog attacks essentially by commander? And they said, yeah, we've got records, but we're still waiting for him. So we sued. You well, know, good. and we want these Secret Service agents, right? You know, they've got this tough job protecting the president of the United States. They shouldn't have to worry about being attacked by his dog. I mean, that goes without saying, just in terms of workplace safety. But secondly, you don't want them to be distracted from doing that 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 very sensitive job protecting the president, where they have to worry about this dog going out of control. You know, I, I remember the story about Major. You know, Major just shows up in the room with, I think it was Jill Biden at the time, and, and just launched across the room at the Secret Service agent. I mean, so this is not like they, they run into the dog and the dog nips them. Uh, previously, Major was, at, you know, chasing after the agents and attacking them. I don't know what the detail is with Commander. Uh, I do know they're sensitive about it because they're hiding it from us. You know, um, being bitten by a dog is actually a traumatic thing. And it can be quite painful and it can affect your health. It's actually no joke. Um, I'm wondering also, to me, it kind of, it, it, it highlights that this whole thing with the dogs and Joe may have been a bit of a myth. You know, they, they didn't have children in the White House, so they wanted, they wanted a mascot. They never really owned the dogs in the first place. I know that's not what you got to the bottom of here, but I just thought the whole thing was a bit of a scam. Um, do you agree or are you suspicious as well? You know, I don't know. Uh, you have to remember, when it comes to a dog, it's the family dog. It's not a Defense Department dog. It's not a CIA dog. We can't, you know, we can't blame this on the deep state. Uh, certainly, the Secret Service leadership should be protecting their people better in terms of being willing to defend them in public and highlight the abuse. Um, but, you know, there were reports just recently, Greg, I don't know if you saw that, uh, uh, President Biden was trying to minimize and suggest that he didn't believe that Major was all that bad in terms of the series of attacks he was involved in. So, you know, I understand why an order gets defensive, but, um, you know, it's his dog, it's his family dog, he's responsible, and he doesn't seem to care. Either he doesn't understand the danger his dog is putting others in, or his dogs have put others in, and um, or he does and he doesn't care because is Joe Biden and it's 10% for the big guy, you know, that sort of attitude. So I was actually bitten by a dog <laughs> about 10 years ago and my hand still hurts. It was a German Shepherd. It was a military working dog and didn't nip at me, but clenched down and actually it still hurts. And I know people laugh at, oh, it's just a dog. It's not a big deal. It's actually kind of a big deal. I don't think that uh, if those dogs were socialized, if they were really in the Biden household, uh, they wouldn't have been acting like this. So something is very strange. Uh, well, wait, you know, well, and some dogs could be very, you know, they, they could be socialized when it comes to Joe and Jill. But, you know, German Shepherds, you get the wrong German Shepherd, like any type of breed, a breed, aggressive breed like that, potentially. All bets are off. And it's not just Secret Service agents. You know, the the, fam the first family is taken care of by a whole host of, of staff there at the White House, and none of them should be put at risk by this dog. And we know they've got records responsive to requests about dog attacks, and they're hiding it from us. 
And so again, as far as I'm concerned, right now there's currently a safety issue at the White House for government uh, workers with this dog. And who knows? Maybe even Joe, maybe even uh, Jill. I mean, if he'll, but um, usually it doesn't happen to the owners. Well, look, again, if you'll lie about a dog, you'll have no problem lying about uh, Afghanistan. I really believe that. Judicialwatch.org. Check it out at Tom Fitton on Twitter. Thank you, sir. And we'll be right back.